Right now, I have with me actress and author, Miss Phils. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing everyone. pretty good. Hi, thank you for greeting <laughs> our, our viewers. So I wanted to ask you, before writing your book, the series, yes. you were a blogger. Yes. What inspired you to go ahead and take on the project of writing a book? Honestly, it wasn't something planned. I had this idea, a great story. I let a couple of friends read it. Um, they liked it. I was like, let me just put it on my blog. The reactions I received was, what's the next part? I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to keep writing. So around episode seven is when I was like, this can be a plot, this can be a book. Let's research that. Let's look at the steps on how to get that done. So it kind of evolved. It didn't, I didn't wake up one morning and say, oh, I'm gonna write a book and it's gonna be great. It was like, oh, here's a little story. And it kept adding and adding and I just took it day by day. Now, I noticed in the book that uh, each chapter is written and titled as an episode. Yes. Was that intentional? Yes, it definitely was. So my long-term goal is to actually write for television. That is what I really, really want to do. Um, writing it in this episode format helped me visualize, and hopefully it'll help you visualize as a reader. It'll tell you the time, the place, where they are. And I feel like it lets people think like, oh, I know that. I'm from Brooklyn. I know exactly where she's talking about. Having that vision will also help you visualize it being on the screen. So that's why I wrote it in episode format. Okay, so we can definitely look forward to the series moving from book to television or web series yes, or that's the plan. some kind of video. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now, can I just make a little confession? Yes. I read your book in one day. Oh my goodness, thank you. Get to it. Yes, okay. it, it totally kept me engaged from beginning to end. Every uh, episode completion, I'm like, okay, I got stuff to do, but I just need to know what happens <laughs> next. You know, then I get, I'm like, okay, I'll stop at the next at the end of the next episode and then I get to the next episode and there's another cliffhanger and I'm like, oh my gosh, let me, I got stuff to do, but let me just see what happens next and before you know it, the whole You're book was read and, <laughs> and I was totally into it. But the book was based on uh, six main characters of diverse races and backgrounds. Does being a native New Yorker play any part in your character choices? Definitely, but not just being a New Yorker. I feel like I grew up, I went to 11 different schools. I've lived in Virginia, North Carolina, New York, different areas of New York, so upstate, the Bronx, Brooklyn. So there's different melting pots everywhere, but I have friends of all different nationalities and races, and I definitely feel like there's a lot of things that are stuck to particulars. And I'm like, no, how about we talk about real life? And if you live in New York City, you're not just gonna have one group of friends. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so definitely that is what definitely opened my horizons, especially because I have friends that are in interracial relationships. I have friends that um, are from different countries and they're here living in New York. And it's just great to see, well, to actually write it and see like, hey, yeah, this is real. This is not like something made up. <laughs> so, yeah. so that being real, were any of the characters real people that you know? Definitely. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, and not, not so much a specific like, oh, that's that person, but I definitely drew character traits from certain people, um, behavior situations from certain people. So a lot of people may be able to identify, but I feel like everyone knows a Robert. Everyone knows a Natalia. Um, you have those friends around you like, oh yeah, that's the girl who always wants to go out and that's the girl who never wants to go out. That's the guy who's in everybody's DM and that's the guy who never wants to talk to anybody. So recently you were a participant in the Urban World Film Festival yes. as an actress. Yes. You were an actress and you were an author and just all these doors are opening for you all around. What advice would you give to someone who has big dreams and aspirations such as yourself? The advice that I would give to you honestly is nothing is too small so starting small is not a bad thing i know you look at this big dream and you're like i just have to get there but take your small steps and for me i'm a writer so i write everything down but write down what you want mm -hmm. like those big goals those big dreams write it down even if it's a note in your phone something that you can look at every day and say it every day you have no idea how it'll align your thinking and people will start to come into your life that will help make these things come true I can only say this because it is exactly what has happened to me. I wouldn't say anything that didn't happen. Write down what you want. Like 2017 is about to come. If you want to do something, write it from now. That way you're already starting to prepare to get into it. And never give up. Never give up. I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> no, but that is very yeah. good advice. I and mean, I can honestly say that everything that you say you want to do, every, you, I've seen your vision board, I've seen you know, just things that you've written, I've heard you speak, I've heard you talk about the things that you want to do, and I am living witness that what she's saying 
really does work. So it's very good advice. Thank you so much for no sharing problem. that with us. And all the best to you in the series. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for this interview and getting to talk about my book. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as Tiffany did. Oh, yes. Oh, and because I enjoyed it so much, I'm going to be purchasing an additional copy of the book to give to one of you as a giveaway. So stay tuned for more information on that. Bye, guys.